even though I'm not ready to spring the rifle on you, I mean, all of you are clamoring out there for it because you're, you're already guessing. Well, here it is. Winchester Model 70. And it's in 458 Magnum caliber. That's the rifle that Robert Stack took to Africa. And that's the rifle that Clint Eastwood took to the rooftops of San Francisco. However, this one happens to be a throwback from before 1964 because they switched it back to the claw extractor. Now the claw extractor is a Mauser design and what it does is it has the famous Mauser claw here for controlled feed. What that means is the round comes up out of the magazine and this, this rifle has a three round magazine with one in the spout for a four round capacity but the, the round comes up from the magazine and it gets grabbed by the claw. So when you see this thing, it says, I'm the claw or the, I'm the craw. Well, you think about the Mauser. And what that does is it, it controls the feed right into the chamber. And then when you extract it, it does the same thing, controlled. And it, look at that big hefty extractor. This rifle, well, this design was perfect for high reliability, especially against dangerous game. And that's why this was very much wanted for this kind of rifle. Anyway, this rifle has a 24 inch barrel. We'll start on the front end, 24 inch barrel and it's heavy, of course, because it's 458 caliber. And it has a nice globe protection front sight, but it's got a gold bead in there on a ramp. And then it comes down to the Safari. Since this is the Model 70 Safari Express in 458 Winchester Magnum, it has a forward barrel mounted sling stud. That's what's preferred for heavy kicking safari rifles. No foreign cap, but it's got nice cut checkering. Has the Winchester Model 70 action, and that is very much highly regarded. Has the Winchester trigger, which is an interesting design with a linkage and a sear and this kind of thing. And they call it the MOA trigger or minute of angle trigger. It's always been a fairly accurate rifle. It has a definite Winchester bolt knob, very distinctive. If you look at this, you can identify the rifle just by looking at the bolt knob. It has a nice three position safety. Forward is fire, center is safe. The trigger is out of action, but you can still work the magazine. So, you see the trigger is out of action, but you can still work the magazine. Back is full safe. You can't work the magazine, you can't work the trigger. Has a hinge floor plate. So you can drop your rounds quickly, but the latch is very sure. So under heavy recoil, you're not gonna drop all your rounds. There's no pistol grip cap, like on some rifles. This one's fairly plain, but the wood is very beautiful has a rollover cheek piece or cheek piece that kind of rolls over. Two recoil bolts go through the action to strengthen the stock action interface. The back end has a Packmeyer decelerator recoil pad. The whole rifle is just short of 45 inches long and it weighs nine pounds almost exactly but I intend to put more weight on this thing because I'm not going to be lugging this in the brush of Africa so I want more weight because the recoil on this thing is fairly substantial in fact it's been regarded that if you have fillings in your back teeth you're liable to get them loosened up by this thing so if that happens I'm not going to be very happy but um, we're gonna start off with light load. Just because you got a Magnum 
big bore rifle. Doesn't mean you gotta shoot elephant loads in it all the time. I can shoot some lighter bullets, 45, 70 type of loads, this kind of thing. We're gonna have fun loading for this rifle because you can use reduced loads with fillers and this kind of thing. We can use all kinds of cast bullets, although I knew that this rifle really has a reputation of not shooting cast bullets well. The reason is because it has what's called lots of free bore and the magazine length is such that when you load to fit the magazine, you can't get the bullets out far enough to be in proper relation to the, the start of the rifle. It's a long way to the start of the rifling, so you got problems with cast bullets. Also, the barrel is a 1 in 14 twist, and that's pretty fast twist. If your bullets are soft, the twist may very well not be grabbed by the bullet because it's too soft. And that's part of the reason why I loaded these to be BHN probably around 20 after water quenching. You can't dent this corner with your thumbnail. In fact, the thumbnail wants to slip off. So these are hard. And that's why I cast them that way because I need them to be able to hit that rifling and hold together and hold the rifling and take that rifling. So anyway, that's the reason behind that in case you were wondering, well, how come Fortune Cookie isn't loading BHN 15 or 14? He's got to go all the way to 20. Uh, well, there was a reason for that. I will be loading some softer bullets at some time in the future. But at any rate, when this rifle is decked out with a telescopic sight, I intend to put a 1 to 4 power on it and tally scope mounts. But the problem is those are on back order and it's going to be a while to get those. 